Greetings, my friends. I've got some very, very urgent news. I've got some very bad news, some very important things to talk to you about. We need to just sit down and have a talk, to have a chat like we have every so often. <clears throat> the world, economists are saying that the world, not just this wicked uh, the hellhole of the former America, now no America that I live in, but the entire globe is looking at a global recession slash depression coming up as early as end of this year, end of next year. Things are going so bad. All you have to do is look out. It, I guarantee you that almost every person that watches this video can relate. You can see what you're paying at the gas pump around the world. You can see what you are paying at the grocery store. You can see how your utility bills for your house are going up. You can see how your how your the price to be able to 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 uh, get to buy a car or, or buy a home or anything is skyrocketing. And now with interest rates being raised and going to be raised more and more and more and more and more and more and more, it's going to be to try to fight the horrific inflation. It's going to be near impossible for most people <coughs> to be able to afford to get credit extended to them to be able to buy things they need. We've we've had some bad times around the world, particular in this nation. We've had three depressions, one after Civil War, one after the World War I and the Spanish flu. And we had, of course, the Great Depression, and this could be the fourth one coming here, And but it's going to be global in nature. During a depression, if you're not familiar with it, <coughs> research it. People were starving to death. People were begging for just a, 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 a piece of a saltine cracker to eat. People were living in, in shanty towns and in, in little, you know, canvas sheet uh, places that they made up for themselves, and they were starving and trying to forage to eat, to eat insects and, to, and they, to eat out of a garbage can if they could find food there. That's where we're headed right now. It appears we're headed to be in that exact same situation, but globally. And something's going to have to change. Out of this whole mess, I believe that the, the global recession this is going to turn into depression, and I believe that's necessary for the entire beast system, for the, for the entire world's economy, for the whole economic system to be reimagined and, and just put out anew. And that's where the whole thing's going to be, the mark of the beast system and terminally the mark of the beast. And it's coming, my friends. Things are bad. Things are terrible. I mean, I just can't. I'm dumbfounded to see the cost of price. Talk about sticker shock. It's beyond that. It's just, uh, it's amazing how the world's leaders uh, have, have are so ineffectual at just taking care of business, taking care of their countries, taking care of what needs to be done, making horrific decisions, making decisions that make you think uh, like they're a bunch of clowns uh, climbing out of a Volkswagen at <laughs> the circus, one after another, just climbing out and throwing buckets uh, into the crowd, and everybody's ducking because they think it's water, but it's confetti, and they stop ducking, and then it is water right in their faces. That's what this is like. And it's horrible. It, it, we're in the, under the big top. The whole world's under the big top. And the, and, and the, and the ringmaster, the devil, is just, is just, hurry, hurry, step right up. He's telling everybody. His, his demonic horde is everywhere, just, just tearing the world apart. I would never have dreamed that my country would become what it is. I mean, people don't respect our leaders anymore. They, they, they think we're a, a bunch of cl circus clowns again. <clears throat> they don't care about what they say or do to us because they, they think we're, that we have no spine and no backbone and we, and we won't uh, defend ourselves like we used to for the entire 246 years of our nation this year in July. It's incredible to me what's happened. It's incredible to me how things are. And again, as I said the other day, all great nations after about 200 200 plus years, give or take, they go the way of ancient Rome like every nation before them has, and we're way beyond that. We're almost at our 250 year in, in July of, of uh, 2026, I believe. It'll all be over by then. And like I said before, I don't believe this country will survive until the end of Biden's presidency. I think by 2025, we'll either be a third world country, starving to death and just emaciated, or just be wiped off the map. We are in a sick world in a, in a sick country that I live in, in a sick entire earth, and it makes me just, it just makes me want to just 
projectile vomit all over the screen. I don't want to gross you out or have to clean it up or buy a new a, a new monitor. I don't have to buy anything new anymore. The prices are so crazy. <clears throat> it's just amazing how fast it's happened. Just look how quick it's happened. Things we had that we had a, a a a booming, a thriving U.S. and a thriving global economy of just about a year and a half ago. Things were in going backwards for several years. Things were just going better than ever. It was amazing. All of a sudden, boom! It's like everything stops and it hits us. I dropped my <laughs> dropped my mouse, and it's just incredible to me how fast things have happened and how quickly. They've fallen apart. I was speaking of falling apart, I've got to redo my battery, but I'll, I'll multitask. The Marines taught me how to do that very well. So as I change, as I uh, readjust the battery, since my mouse hit the deck, um, it's just it's just incredible. It's really sad. It's really frustrating what what we've become, what this country's become, what the world's become. But again, understand it has to happen that way because God's in control. Everything has to happen the way it happens for the end times to happen, and the world has to be. And total misery. When the rapture happens and billions, up to billions of babies and little ones, and only a small number, sadly, of Christians who are alive, because most people who, can, who identify as Christians are about as much of a Christian as the devil himself is. And they'll be left behind along with the unsaved. But when that happens, you think things are bad right now? It's going to be a hellish nightmare, and there's going to have to be someone rising out of the ashes to fix things and make things right again. And that man's going to be the Antichrist. And like I said in yesterday's video, he's going to be the man to explain to all the moms and the grandmas and the aunts and uncles and dads and everybody where their loved ones went and the, it's, the aliens took them. It's going to be a lie, but they're going to believe it lock, stock, and barrel. The Holy Spirit, their strainer will be gone and they're going to buy into it. And the hell, the hell for seven years is going to begin. Whenever God begins it after, after the rapture, it could be right then, it could be a short break of time, but it's going to happen and billions upon billions will die grotesque, awful, horrific death. It'll be it'll be hell on steroids every day until it's over. No one wants to go through that. I don't want to see anyone have to go through that. Whether you hate me, dislike me, like me or indifferent to me, I don't care. I don't want to see anyone be left behind and end up in hell in the lake of fire. Jesus Christ is your only hope, my friends. If you've never been saved or you're backslidden, pray the prayer, do the six steps in the box, put a video, and no one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. I love you with all my heart and look up true Christians or a different door than I would fly soon. May God bless you. Share this video. Help me get the word out. Thanks for taking time to talk to me. And please take courage, Christians. We fly soon. Get out there, witness and pray. Keep your lamp filled with oil. Share the video. I love you. Bye.